Welcome everybody. Hey, my name is Eric Albrickson, and so this morning I'm just going to give you a, uh, some really great information on how to get your business started properly. Uh, a little bit about myself. My wife and I, we live down in Queen Creek, Arizona. We've been married for coming up on 28 years. We've got uh, four children. Two of them are, uh, you know, married. They've got uh, three grandkids. Our one is serving a mission and he's also a Marine. And we also have our youngest daughter. She actually started school today as a junior. So things are changing at our house. So what I want to do this morning is I want to give you some basic information on how to get your business started properly. It's very important to get your business started properly. I, 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 I compare it to uh, like an airplane getting uh, ready to take off. There's a few steps that are vitally important that a pilot has to do in order for this plane to get enough speed in order to gain altitude and start flying. And your business is very similar to that. So the, the steps that I'm going to share with you, um, we've been using and they work extremely well. And if you're a brand new person, um, you can just get started here. Or maybe you've been, uh, you had to take a, a break, maybe with COVID, you had some things come up and you're ready to get going. Um, you can always draw a line in the sand and start all over again. And uh, these steps, it uh, doesn't matter who you are and where you're at in your business, uh, they absolutely work. So here we go. Uh, the first thing that you need to do is figure out why you need this business to work for you. This right here, I think, is one of the most important things that a lot of people skip over. Uh, we get uh, talking about uh, goals like, you know, maybe a new car or a house or, or maybe a trip or, you know, something along that line. And, but goals are actually different than a why. A why motivates you to do things that you normally wouldn't do. Uh, for example, uh, if your house is on fire, if your house is on fire, are you going to run into the house? Probably not. But let's say your your house is on fire and your kids are in the house. Well, all of a sudden, uh, your your why or your reason to run into the house is completely changed. I mean, if if my kids are in the house and it's on fire, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get my kids out of there and get them safe. So that is your why. Why is something that motivates you? Um, most of the time, it's something that you heard in the very first presentation that really clicked with you. And uh, you're like, okay, that's it. For me, I just wanted to have some freedom. I worked from four o'clock in the morning to 11 o'clock at night. And I, we ran three businesses and I was looking for a way to get out of that situation. I wanted to create a way that uh, an income that would come in month after month, whether I did anything or not. And so that was our why. And, and your why might be a little bit different. Now, if you're married, your spouse's why might actually be different than yours, but that is okay. Now, once you uh, take some time and you discover what that why is, I would suggest that you write this why every place that you can see it. It's important that you do this because when your business all of a sudden, maybe you talk to somebody and maybe they tell you no and it was a very good friend and you're kind of hoping that they would join you here in Actives, but they didn't and you're kind of bummed, okay? You need to then refer back to that why, okay? That why, if you keep it out there where you can see it, um, is important. Um, I suggest taking a dry erase marker, write it on your bathroom mirror, write it in a places that you can see it on a regular basis, that it's a constant reminder as to why you're building this business, okay? Now, the next step is, is what? What do you need to do in order to achieve that why? I remember when I, I was laying in bed late at night and we'd always, Trish and I, we taught a lot of people about why. And to me, there was always something missing. And it actually came to me like about two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning. And I remember it because I, I woke up Trish and I go, what? And she goes, she wakes up and she's, you know, totally dazed. And she's like, what, what do you mean? What? I go, what? And she goes, what? I, what are you talking about? I said, the what? The what is the second part of the equation. The why plus the what equals the success, okay? Those two things are important. These are the key things that, a, say, a, a pilot would be doing in, in setting up his plane to get going off the ground. It, the what will motivate you. It, these are the things, maybe you need to change something. Maybe you need to learn something. Maybe you need to give up something differently. That what can have a lot of vari variation to it, um, but you need to figure out what are you willing in order to build your actives business. can see it as well. So it's a constant reminder to you, what are you willing to do? I like a lot of outdoor activities and things like that. And some of my friends, I remember when I decided that, okay, we were going to build our business. 
I put on hold everything. Um, I told my friends, I was like, look, I can't do this right now. I'm, you know, when maybe next year, uh, things will be different. Uh, but right now I need to focus on building our business. Okay. So that was step number two. Now, Next thing that you need to do is once you've got those two things figured out, is you need to write a list of names of everybody that you know. Okay, now notice that I didn't say write a list of everybody that you think will get involved in the business or people that would be interested in the products. I said write a list of everybody that you know. And this goes back to literally people that you knew in grade school, high school, maybe you work with at a different job. Uh, maybe you uh, know the hairdresser, or the guy that delivers your packages, whoever it is, you start writing down names of everybody that you know. Okay, and you're gonna, I want that names list to be at least 100 to 200 names. Now, what is important is that you actually write them down. Most people, um, they have their, their phone. And you have probably four or 500 names in there. Because people say, well, I don't know who to talk to. Well, give me your phone. I bet I can look at your contact list and there'll be hundreds of people in there. Now, it's important that you take these names from your phone and you actually write them on a piece of paper. At our house, that piece of paper sits in the, uh, the kitchen. And it's typically where you'll find it. And we just are constantly adding names to it. And it's, you know, it's got uh, uh, chocolate milk and cereal and food, you know, splashed across or whatever, because it just stays there. And we are constantly adding to that list. But to get started, you need at least a 100 to 200 names put on a piece of paper. And again, taking it from your phone to the paper is a, an important step. Do not skip that particular step. Now, the next thing is, is you need to take time to educate yourself about your business. Now, you don't want to be doing this during prime time. Uh, what do I mean by prime time? Well, most people work from about, you know, nine to five or eight to four, right through that. And then they get home and they have some dinner. Okay. Um, once that time frame is about six o'clock on seven o'clock on to about midnight, that is prime time. This is when people are available that you can call them. This is when people are freed up enough. Now they can, you know, take time to uh, watch the videos and, and start to, uh, you know, the process here. You, you want to be you don't want to be educating yourself about the business during those times, okay? Um, you wanna be doing this uh, maybe in your uh, office, okay? You get the office, uh, the porcelain throne, okay? Great time to educate yourself. Um, maybe it's late at night after uh, you know, 11, 12 o'clock at night, people are in bed and you're kind of winding down from the day. Go to actives.info and it literally has everything that you need to know about actives. There's information on the products, there's, there's testimonials, there's information on the compensation plan, how it works, how to set up your business. Everything that you need to know uh, as a new distributor is right there. And even if you're a, a seasoned distributor here with actives, Trisha and I have created this website, uh, mainly Trisha, she does a lot of this, but uh, we've created this website and we're constantly adding to it and updating it. So there's uh, every bit of information that you need to, to run your business is at actives.info. Um, we've made it just a nice, simple place. You can send uh, people that are interested. Maybe you got done talking with somebody and they had a question on some products. Literally send them to actives.info and they can now uh, research that. If somebody's interested in the compensation plan, send them to actives.info. Okay, great place to educate themselves as well as you about the, the company. Now, so I mentioned that you don't want to be taking time during the, the prime times when you when people are available. At actives.info, one of the things if you're brand new, you need to go to the part where it says getting started because there's some important things there that you need to fill out. There's a, a W-9, okay? You don't work for actives. You don't uh, work for me. This is your business. And the company, in order to pay you, they need to have you fill out this W-9. It's just a tax form. Um, so now that uh, uh, they can pay you and then you need to get with your accountant because with your business, there's certain things that you can write off and the, the W-9 form allows you to do that, okay? Um, the next thing is, is you need to join the Telegram group, and it's at Actives Fast Pass is the Telegram group, and it shows you right on there. Get on there, and Trisha and I are constantly updating. Maybe we've got some new information. Maybe there's a call, something like that. You want to get on there. Um, there's the Hyper Wallet. You want to make sure that you uh, do this part, because in order for you to get paid, um, you need to do the part here with the Hyper Wallet. It's very, very simple. 
Uh, and so once you start enrolling somebody and you are now qualified for commissions, this is where the money is going to be sent so that now you can you know, move it into your bank account or do the other things that you need to do. Okay, has all the digital resources, everything that you need, all the little uh, housekeeping things are right there at actives.info on getting started. Now, what do you do within the first 48 hours? Once you've signed up somebody or you've just signed up yourself, one of the things that you need to do is set up a meeting at your house. Why your house and not my house or your sponsor's house or somebody else's? Because people will go where they are comfortable. Even if you and I live next door and you say, well, Eric, let's have the meeting at your house. Guess what? People are less likely to show up over here at my house versus yours because people aren't comfortable there. We want to create a comfortable environment where people can show up. They know they've been there before. They know you. There's a, that relationship there. It's just people's nature to, we want to make them comfortable. So we're going to do the meeting at your house. And we want to set that up within the first 48 hours. Okay. Now, some other things that you can do if, if uh, maybe you got people that are out of state um, and you can't, the, obviously they can't come to your house. You want to set up a Zoom meeting um, and get them started that way. Um, and there's all the information on that actives.info on how to do that. Now, so getting out of the gate fast is important. When you're setting up a meeting, say you just enrolled uh, Julie. Let's say we just, you just enrolled Julie. What do you do next with Julie? Your job as the enroller, as the sponsor, is to help her, guide her through these steps. Okay, if we were uh, learning how to fly an airplane, um, the, the trainer is sitting right next to the student and he's teaching that student exactly what they need to do in order to get this plane to fly. That's your job as the, as the enroller when you sign somebody up is you want to help get them started the right way. And there's a simple phrase that has literally made Trisha and I millions of dollars, okay? If you wait for people to get started, they don't know what to do. And so they won't do anything. I mean, literally, if you they said, all right, go fly the airplane and you just, the person's just gonna go sit in the airplane. They don't know what to do, okay? Your job is this. Julie, here's what we need to do next. We need to set up a meeting at your house. Let's pick a time uh, within the next week. Um, typically seven o'clock in the evening is the best time. So people can get off work, come home, eat, and then they can come over and uh, we can have the meeting and show them uh, the business and the, and the opportunity. Okay, here is what we need to do next. You literally walk them from one step to the next step to the next step. Here's what we need to do next. We need to make a, a names list. Here's what we need to do next is we need to figure out why are you building this business? What are you willing to do in order to get that why? You literally can help walk these individuals from one step to the next by just that simple phrase. And uh, once we started using that, as opposed to waiting for people trying to figure out what to do, it made all the difference in the world. Now, you want to get this information out in front of as many people as you can within the first two to four weeks. Again, if you're flying the airplane, it's important that you pick up enough speed in order to actually get the plane off the runway before you hit the trees at the end. Okay, Your business is no different. You want to set up multiple meetings, maybe do um, a couple of meetings because maybe you, you set up the meeting on Tuesday, but the people that you're talking to can't come on a Tuesday. So have another meeting on Thursday or uh, have Zooms. You want to, you know, seven o'clock is uh, when you've coordinated with your sponsor, your upline, and you're going to get them on the on Zoom with you and the sponsors so that now you can talk about the business and get them started properly and you want to do this as many times as you can with that names list see all these things pieced together it's vitally important now one thing that we've created that will help you share the business and the opportunity but also talk to people about the products is a presentation that literally if i never saw you or heard from you again and you use this uh, activespresentation.com, you could succeed and go all the way to A16. We created a presentation that literally all you have to do is hit play and it will talk, it'll share everything about the products, about the compensation plan, everything about the company, everything that you need. And it's about 20 minutes long and it's an incredible presentation. Uh, we've been using this uh, um, with our team. Uh, and the success rate is incredible because it gives people a, a, an idea of what they really got their hands on, okay? Now, it's important that if we're doing a presentation at a home, we want to be able to share this 
at the meeting. So let's say we're doing a meeting again at Julie's house on Tuesday night at seven o'clock. We need to talk with her and make sure that we have a way that we can uh, cast this to our TV or maybe uh, use a cord to plug into our TV. Or maybe if it's only two or three people, use a laptop and you're at the kitchen table. You need act, uh, um, a way to uh, get to activespresentation.com so you can literally press play and just listen to Trisha narrate it. Or you can turn down the volume and you can hit play and then you can pause it and just kind of read the slide yourself. But this presentation is an incredible presentation that the company has been waiting for for a very, very long time. And Trisha and I, during COVID and over the last uh, 15 months, we've put this together for everybody. And uh, this is awesome. Everybody that's uh, using this is having success. Okay. Now, the other thing that you want to do is when you are doing a Zoom or you're going to uh, introduce them to your uh, upline or your sponsor, um, text them this presentation. Say, hey, I want you to watch this video, and then I'm going to get you on the phone with uh, somebody that uh, I want to introduce you to that because you're going to have some questions after you get done watching this, and uh, I've got somebody uh, ready to uh, do that with you, okay? Setting this up properly um, is very important. Don't just spam this out to people. Don't just email this out to people and hope that people go, hey, I want to sign up because that's not going to happen. Um, every one of us, we get spam all day long on our phones, on our emails, and none of us look at that. So the proper way to use this is, hey, Julie, I got a, um, a video I'm going to send to you. You got a minute that you can watch it? Yeah. Okay. So now just that little bit of preparation is enough to now you text her the link. She's going to open this up and hit play and the presentation will start. And it is super, super cool. Um, go there, watch it, and, and you'll see for yourself. But you want to use this properly. Don't go spamming this because now you've ruined 90% um, of your list if you're just spamming it out, everybody. You want to use the tool properly so that we can get the airplane off the ground. Now, if you're brand new, your job is not to be answering questions. Your job is to be taking notes. This is on the job training, okay? When your sponsor or whoever your upline is doing the presentations, your job is to take notes on what they're saying and how they're saying it. Um, your job is to go to actives.info, not during prime times, but uh, and you start learning the information. Watch the activespresentation.com multiple times. So now you understand the presentation and what's on the video. And just by doing that, you'll be able to answer 99% of all, all the questions that you will ever get uh, here with Actives, okay? Um, your job is just to be pointing people to the information and introducing them to your sponsor and your upline and, and get them started. Now, once you're seasoned and now you've uh, got your business started, now you can start doing these very same things for the people that you know and, and help them get started the, the proper way. But again, this is uh, uh, something that we've put together uh, anybody can use. Um, it's working very, very well. Um, and we're excited for you. You're brand new. Um, right now, Actives is growing extremely fast. One thing that you don't want to miss is timing. We talk about that in the activespresentation.com. It talks about timing. Timing is something that does not wait for anybody. I remember when I got started, um, I didn't want to miss my chance. Um, I looked at this as a way out. And I wanted to be able to tap into uh, this, this industry and the opportunity and not miss it. So jump on board, get yourself started, um, check back with this video. And again, these are the steps that you need to go. You can just follow through there, but very, very simple. Your goal is to uh, enroll at least four people as quickly as you can. Um, and you wanna do at least 10 people over the next 90 days so that you can be a, uh, a part of the 500 club. But those little things like that will help you get your business started properly, okay? Enrolling 10 people over the next 90 days because that's going to give you three or four people that are going to allow you to work. Out of those 10, some may just turn into good customers. A couple may be incubators and kind of wait around a little bit. Maybe life got in the way, even though they were excited for some. Um, you don't have to pound on them. If there's something new that comes out, and they're all into the product. Well, just keep them updated on the products. If there's something going on with the compensation plan and people are making money and you're starting to see that, we'll just kind of update them and, and keep them there. But again, your job is 10 people over the next 90 days so that you can identify three to four people and get your business started and get started properly. All right, guys.
looking forward to meeting you. Uh, when you get a chance, come say hi to us. Um, if you're down in Arizona, uh, we got lots of meetings. Yeah, look to the, the calendars and you can find us there. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <music>